Sipim has tries one thing, as you've mentioned, like you've got Marichido and things like that. And when you but when you look at the resource, Marichido is actually a lot of oxides, less sulfides, which means that well, great you got oxides, but also means that they haven't really looked much because as we everyone keeps telling me, you know, copper is where you see copper, and whereas Nifty's had the longer history, obviously more more sulfides than oxides. Um, how do you guys? How do you explain to guys? Because you just told me you've got that um, converse, had a meeting with one to one, lots of people talking to you. How's that being transferred and or, or, or received and transferred back to you? Um, well, <laughs> most of the new investors I talk, or new you know potential investors I talk to can't can't believe um, our resource base and the the capacity of of what we've done. Um, a lot of them can't believe we've got such a big land holding in the Patterson province, um, which we have. It's like we're right you in the middle of... could be in Oz, right? In some degree, right? Um, a yeah. smaller version, you want to call that? Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's the aim because really you want to get into that mid-tier. So ultimately you want to be about 100,000 tonne of copper, which will put you into that mid-tier phase. But um, in the co conversations that I've had, if you, if you want to be in that mid-tier phase... Um, and, and, and I know it's sort of a rehashed um, narrative about Tier 1, but everything's in WA, so Tier 1 on sovereign risk. Um, well, I'll, a mine site that's operated before, so all the environmental approvals and all the things that go with that, so that's the stable. And we're in a Tier 1 copper province, and we're, we dominate the middle of it. And we've got two big resource bases there. And... Um, and it, it, as I say, it sort, of, it sort of befuddles me a bit about how we're received because what we said was we're going to go and develop and we're going to become a copper producer, which is what we're going to do. But now we're penalised for it. But isn't that what everyone's trying to do? Yeah. Or are you telling me that everyone's out there drilling holes and building big resource bases and not intend to do anything with it? Is that what you're telling me? So, so this is why our strategy and our determination is what it is. Because in these cycles, as we know, there's 20 or 30 companies. Two or three of them get going. The rest fall away. And then in five years' time, as you say, like the two or three that get going, they might be in Oz Minerals, they might be um, MMG, they might be, you know, something like that. The rest of them are going back to the market for money trying to do the same thing. And we see that time and time again with copper. I mean, we reviewed 250 copper projects in Australia. There's 250 copper projects in Australia. And I can tell you, very few of them are producing. So that was our strategy all along. And, 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 and as I've been told and as, as people are saying to me, like, it's like, how did you get the position? How do you get to the position that you're in so quickly? Um, and I, I can tell you that we just, we just keep working as hard as we can because we know if we keep working as hard as we can, we'll get to the end point at the end. And that's really what all we've done. Um, and we're builders, like we're constructors and developers. You know, we don't want to be in a finance process. We don't want to be drilling thousand metre holes looking for, you know, big ore bodies, that's the best. Thing.